And of course, one of the most important features to consider for any modern day mobile is strong battery life. It's something you wouldn't have even had to think about 20 years ago. Those chunky wee buggers had the staying power of an elephant. They would literally go for weeks between charges unless you really hammered them with those snake sessions or with those ringtone WAP downloads. But now, of course, your trusty blower can play console-worthy games and stream high-def videos on the go. And if the battery life sucks, then you'll basically end up with little more than a shiny paperweight stuffed in your pocket come your commute home. And so here's my full review roundup of the best phones with brilliant battery life that you can buy on a budget. But first off, if you're going to be playing a lot of PUBG or streaming a lot of Netflix on the go, then you'll definitely want a data contract that can handle all of that action without skinting you. And the good news is, it's almost Black Friday, easily the best time of the year, even better than Christmas. Christmas. Sorry Jesus. Not only can you grab yourself a new smartphone on the cheap, but you can also bag yourself a brilliant value SIM only deal. And this year, one of the best offers comes courtesy of UK provider Smarty, which is powered by the Mighty 3 network. Smarty has had rave reviews from the likes of Trustpilot and Uswitch, and it takes all of the pain out of choosing a new SIM only plan. There's no need to squint for hours at complex spreadsheets to work out exactly what you're getting for your cash. Their offerings are simple and very straightforward. Basically, just choose how much data you want each month, and that's you sorted. You've got full flexibility flexibility thanks to the 30-day roll and contracts. You can change up your plan whenever you want to suit your particular needs. And Smarty has also thrown in full unlimited UK calls and texts, as well as the freedom of EU roaming as well. And you'll even get some money back for any unused data you've got left at the end of the month. Bit of extra cash for the beer fund. Now this Black Friday, Smarty is supercharging its large plan. Their usual great value 8 gig plan, which costs just 15 quid a month, has been given a proper boost. So now you get a massive 45 gigs each month for the same price. That's enough data to stream a Christmas Prince the Royal Baby literally hundreds of times on Netflix from start to finish. Well, I know how I'll be spending my Christmas. And if 45 gigs somehow isn't quite enough for you, then don't worry, Smarty has you covered this Black Friday. It's offering a 100 gig plan for just £17 a month. Ordering these deals really couldn't be simpler. Just head to the Smarty website, smarty.co.uk, and you'll find the Black Friday deal highlighted there on the homepage. Just stick in your details and your SIM will be sent straight out in the post. A new Smarty SIM card came through the letterbox just two days later and took literally seconds to activate on the Smarty website. And putting over your old number is nice and easy these days as well. Just text your provider, you'll get a pack code sent back to you and just stick that into the Smarty website. And again, give it a day or two and it's all done and dusted. So far, I'm definitely loving that Smarty plan. You get a dependable, fast connection wherever you roam. Perfect for streaming rom-com shenanigans on Netflix. But you'll have to act pretty fast because you've only got until December the 3rd to sign up for the Super Smarty Black Friday deals. And if you sign up by clicking the link in the video description down beneath my token face, you'll also get a full month of Smarty action for free. More money for those festive mince pies and sherry. Now let's have a gander at those brilliant battery life budget blowers. And one of my favourite affordable smartphones of 2019 is still the Motorola Moto G7 Power, which you can actually snatch these days for about 150 quid. A meaty 5,000 milliamp battery is crammed inside of Moto's shiny shell. And as the name of this phone hints quite heavily, this means plenty of power, whatever you're up to. When I first reviewed it, the G7 Power happily survived for two full days between charges, even with plenty of movie streaming and gaming on the move. And that's not just down to the battery capacity, of course. You also get the power-efficient Snapdragon 632 platform backed by 4 gigs of RAM, which provides a smooth everyday experience without draining that juice. Plus, the stock version of Android also makes for a nice, clean, smooth run-in. Like the other phones in this roundup, of course, you get the usual selection of power-saving tools and features to stop those juice-draining apps in their tracks. But with Motorola's Wii Beastie, you won't even need to touch those. And another Motorola blower that's well worth bigging up for its battery life is last year's Moto E5 Plus. It is getting on a bit and it's since been succeeded by the fresh and new E6 Plus, but the older Moto E5 Plus boasts a much bigger 5000 milliamp battery and it can keep you going for a couple of days on a single charge. The performance and the camera tech are understandably limited, but that spacious 6 inch screen is pretty damn good for the price and you once again have a stock Android experience. You can grab the Moto E5 Plus for just 100 quid SIM free these days, so hopefully that'll leave you enough cash in the bank for a couple of pints and a bit of pork scratching action. Now if your bank balance has you breaking down in sobbing fits of despair, but you really desperately need new handsets, then one manufacturer well worth checking out is Oppo. This Chinese giant has unleashed some brilliant blowers for our skin folk in 2019, and one of my favourite affordable phones that I've reviewed this year has definitely been the Oppo A9 2020. This 6.5 inch behemoth costs just 200 quid, and yet it boasts some seriously impressive features, including a surprisingly decent quad lens rear camera and a stereo speaker setup. Performance is 
is definitely respectable, but it's the battery life that really blows you away. A 5000 milliamp cell is once again stuffed inside, just like the Moto G7 Power, and it can keep you going for two full days between charges. Even if you hammer the A9 2020 with on-the-go gaming and movie streaming sessions as well, you'll comfortably make it a bedtime before you finally need a stick in the charging cable. And I've also got lots of love for the Oppo Reno 2Z, which costs just a smidge more than the A9 2020, but boasts a proper good display. That sizable screen has been upgraded from IPS to AMOLED tech, while the resolution also gets a boost from just plain old HD to full HD, and it is completely notch free as well thanks to the cute pop up camera. And while the 4000 milliamp battery ain't exactly as flippin' huge as the A9 2020 cell, you still get strong returns. Again, this thing will last you all day long, even with plenty of punishment, helped along by that energy efficient MediaTek chipset. Now, Chinese rival Xiaomi has just officially launched its Redmi Note 8 series, which is a strong rival to the Reno 2Z with similar specs and features. You once again get a quad lens camera, a spacious full HD plus screen, and of course, a beefy bit of battery action. I haven't yet had the chance to fully review these new handsets, but one advantage of their imminent release is that the older Redmi Note 7 should drop in price. And considering it only cost 200 quid originally, that is a lot of phone for your cash. The Note 7 still delivers some great features for a budget phone, including a camera packed with loads of useful modes, the ever-dependable Snapdragon 660 chipset backed by 4 gigs of RAM, and a crisp 6.3-inch Full HD screen with just the tiniest of tiny notches poking into the action. Plus, it is pleasingly hardy as well thanks to that Gorilla Glass finish. And as you probably sussed out from its inclusion in this review roundup, the Redmi Note 7 also is seriously strong on that battery life as well. It'll keep you juiced up all day long thanks to that 4000 milliamp cell. The only real caveat here is the MIUI launcher, which is rather polarizing as it is one of the heavier Android overlays out there, as in lots of new features, but also scrapping basic stuff like the apps tray. Still, you can always shove on a different launcher of your choosing if you so wish, and I've rounded up a few of my favorites here on TechSpert if you're running low on ideas. And last up, if you're on a budget but after strong battery life, you should also definitely take a look at Realme. The Realme 3 Pro blew me away earlier in 2019, proving a very strong all-round device for around 200 quid. From the performance to the camera tech, this thing definitely delivers in spades. And with a 4050 milliamp battery crammed inside of that shiny chassis, you will once again get great battery life no matter what you're up to. The new Realme 5 Pro has already launched over in Spain, so hopefully that'll make the trip over to the UK soon. You get a bit of a specs boost and that same excellent 4000 milliamp battery, so fingers crossed it'll still be a winner as far as longevity is concerned. And that right there is my full roundup of the best budget blowers for battery life right now. Have I missed out your own particular favourites though? I've only, of course, included stuff that you can get in the UK right now and that I've personally tested and reviewed but I'm sure there are plenty of other great ones out there so it'll be great to hear your own personal recommendations and for more on the latest and greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers everyone, love you!